everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a very, very requested video. And that is my skincare routine. A lot of you guys like my skin. Thank you. I try. Um, right now I'm only wearing concealer and some mattifying translucent powder. So I don't wear foundation every day, only when I'm really dressing up. Anyways, we are just going to get right into it. I will show you all the products that I use. I am not bullshitting around. These are products that I actually use and that I enjoy. First, let's talk about how I remove my makeup. So if I only have a little bit of makeup on, like brows or a little bit of concealer, I usually just use micellar water. I put this on a little cotton pad and I take off all the makeup. This is from Simple. If I am wearing heavier makeup, especially if I'm wearing mascara, I will go in with the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. I really like these. I've been using these for a while now. Um, the Neutrogena ones burn my face and these don't, so I'm sticking to these. Sometimes if I just have face makeup on, I will use the product I'm about to show you and then sometimes after I use a wipe, I will go in with this product just to make sure I get everything off. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I originally purchased this just because this is a really cool product. It's a balm and then you take a little bit of it, rub it in your fingers and it turns into an oil. Honestly, this product is a little bit expensive. It's like 20 something dollars. So I would definitely try a cheaper version because I don't think this brand is like a must have, but I do like the idea of a cleansing balm. And those are pretty much all the products that I use to remove my makeup. Moving on to morning skincare. In the morning, it's very quick because I'm usually in a rush. If I'm really strapped for time, I will just put water over my face and go out the door because I just don't have any time to really wash my face. If I do have time or I feel like my face is dirty, I always use this product. This is the Purity One Step Facial Cleanser. This thing is amazing. I really, really love this. I've been using it since June or July of last year and I don't think I will be changing anytime soon. Pretty sure I'm going to repurchase this. Then to moisturize, I usually mix these two products together. This is just an SPF. It's from Olay. There's nothing special about it. Honestly, SPF is just important, so use that. And then I also just combine it with this Clinique a Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. I've been using this for over a year. I really like it. It doesn't leave my skin oily, so I like to use these in combination. That is pretty much it for my morning skincare. Let's move on to nighttime skincare. So about three or four times a day, I like to exfoliate my skin. This is the product that I use. It's St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. I bought this because it has really good reviews and I really do like it. It's very affordable. When I am not exfoliating my skin, I always use my one-step cleanser. I love this thing. It's amazing. It doesn't dry my skin out. It makes it feel really hydrated and clean. This is a staple product right here, my friends. I will link all the products down below, by the way, so if you want to check them out, check the description box. Okay, after I do that, if I still feel like I might have makeup on my face, I usually follow up with my micellar water. A lot of the times, I still have some makeup residue on my face, even though I already removed all my makeup. So this is a really good step. For moisturizing my face, my face has been so dry in the winter months. It still is really dry. And I have been using this First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. This stuff is pretty affordable in terms of like face creams compared to other things I've used before. And it's very hydrating. So I really like this product. 
After I do that, I always try to go in with a serum. This one is vitamin C. This is a Rise and Shine 30% vitamin C serum. This is supposed to help with anti-aging. I honestly don't know if it is, but I've heard a lot of really good reviews about it. So I decided that I should start young. Why wait till I actually start aging? <laughs> and I just put a little bit of this on my face as well as my neck area. Bought this on Amazon. It was really affordable. The last product I have to share with you is truly my best kept secret, my ride or die, the best product in my skincare collection. It is the Skincraft Organics Blemish Remedy with Manuka Oil. So I just kind of looked through Etsy one day trying to look for a natural blemish remedy and I stumbled upon this little guy and this thing is incredible. So I use this every single time I have pimples or blemishes and especially when I feel like one is coming, I put it on there. I usually apply one to two drops at night and then if I still have like blemishes in the morning, I do it in the morning as well after I wash my face. If you take anything away from this video, take this away from the video as well as this cleanser. It's got grapeseed oil, organic jojoba oil, organic tamanu oil, essential oils of New Zealand, manuka, Australian tea tree, neroli, geranium, carrot seed, and lavender. All amazing ingredients. And I really do feel like it takes away all my blemishes. Usually if I have one at night, I put a little bit of the oil on and then in the morning, it's usually either gone down a whole lot or it's completely gone. All right, that concludes my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Comment down below. Once again, all the products will be listed in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.